Good morning. We are proud to present the Manchester Valley High School Class of 2021. Welcome to the 11th Annual Graduation Ceremony for Manchester Valley High School. I want to thank the Class of 2021 Advisors, Ms. Sarah Blum and Mr. James Thompson, our Assistant Principals, Mr. Chris Merson and Ms. Heather Seamus, and the Graduation Committee for their efforts in organizing this ceremony and all of the Graduation Week activities. To begin this morning's ceremony, we will honor our nation by joining the Manchester Valley High School Honors Vocal Ensemble Seniors in the singing of our national anthem. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence led by Ms. Sydney Miller, President of the National Honors Society. 
The flowers placed on the stage are in remembrance of all those important individuals who could not be with us today. Please rise, and gentlemen, please remove your caps. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Welcome Mr. Chris Merson to introduce some of our guests in attendance. We are fortunate to have several special guests in attendance with us today. On behalf of the Manchester Valley High School community, I thank them for their continued support of our students. Please hold your applause until all stage guests have been introduced. On stage, we'd like to welcome Dr. Stephen Lockhart, Superintendent of Carroll County Public Schools, and Board of Education President, Ms. Marsha Herbert. Also in attendance this evening, we have Director of High Schools, Mr. Eric King. We also have with us uh, this morning, uh, Carroll County Commissioner, Mr. Stephen Wentz. While we are gathered to celebrate our graduates, we'd also like to take a moment to congratulate three members of our staff on their retirement this year. With a combined total of 107 years in public education, we are grateful to Ms. Janet Albaugh, Ms. Mary Jo Kraft, and Mr. Mark Bingham for their service and dedication to our students and school community. Around the arena, are many Manchester Valley faculty and staff who are in attendance for this special occasion, including our commencement speaker, Ms. Tina Thoman. These faculty members have been instrumental in the success of our students. Would all Manchester Valley High School faculty and staff members please stand to be recognized?
Of course, a student's journey toward graduation begins much earlier than their time with us. We would like to take a moment to also recognize the faculty and staff members who join us today from our feeder schools to help honor our graduates. So if you would, please stand. And finally, we would like to acknowledge any Manchester Valley or North Carroll High School alumni that may be with us this morning. So if you are a graduate of North Carroll or Manchester Valley High Schools, would you please stand? Next, we have Ms. Heather Seamus, who will highlight this year's class accomplishments. Thank you, Mr. Merson. Good morning, class of 2021. You made it. What a year. My name is Heather Seamus. I'm an assistant principal at Manchester Valley, and it is my pleasure to share the class accomplishments for our class of 2021. Of the 300 graduates, 87% will be continuing their education at a college, university, or trade school. 5% will enter directly into the workforce, and 2% will serve our country in the military. At this time, would our graduates planning to enter the military please stand to be recognized? And would any members of our audience who has served our nation please stand and join them? Thank you for your service, past, present, and future. Over $391,000 in scholarship money has been awarded to our seniors. 98 students have earned honor roll status throughout their entire high school career. Will Gabriel Sobolski please stand? Gabe is the class of 2021 top scholar with a weighted GPA of 4.65. The dual enrollment program with Carroll Community College continues to grow as 102 Mavericks from the class of 2021 took 307 classes in 66 different course areas. Three of this year's graduates have also earned their associate's degree in addition to their high school diploma. We congratulate Will Salido, Carly Jarkowitz, and Gabe Savalski on this accomplishment. Over one-third of the class of 2021 attended the Career and Technology Center or participated in a school-based career program. Will all of the students who met the requirements for a career completer program please stand? We have several seniors that have earned the seal of biliteracy in Spanish. Each took a state of Maryland test that assesses their ability to read, write, listen, and speak in Spanish to demonstrate that each is bilingual. Maria Rodriguez, Benjamin Hernandez, and Margaret Frazier earned the seal of biliteracy in Spanish.
Our Future Business Leaders of America organization, otherwise known as FBLA, benefited from the leadership of Sarah Forrester, serving as Maryland FBLA Region 1 Vice President. This position is recognized by MSDE. She is one of 10 students serving on the board for the state. We also have three national winners from FBLA, Brandon Brooks, Bradley Rodsky, and Sarah Forrester. These students did receive an award from FBLA National. Brandon also received a $250 scholarship from the Maryland FBLA Foundation. The following students placed at the state level and will compete at the FBLA National Conference this summer. John Allen, Sarah Chesley, Sarah Forrester, Brandon Brooks, and Bradley Rodsky. FBLA also recognizes winners in the top 10 at the state level. Jacob McGregor, Sarah Grill, Josie Hicks, Madison Gleesman, and Serena Newton. The senior members of the vocal department have been an integral part of the success over the last four years. This year, several students received awards that are nationally recognized. The Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award is given to recognize musical contributions, dedication, and creativity. Receiving this award are Margaret Frazier and Carolyn Pascal. The National School Choral Award is the highest honor for choral performers. It is given to students that display dedication and exemplary musical achievement. Students receiving the National School Choral Award for this year are Chase Cox, Sarah Forrester, Jalen Fontaine, and Sophie Panagakis. Our instrumental music department also had an outstanding senior. Margaret Frazier was accepted into the Maryland All-State Band. She also is a recipient of the John Philip Sousa Award, a nationally recognized instrumental award, which is the pinnacle achievement in high school band. This year, athletics looked a little different in the state of Maryland, with Carroll County providing the most opportunity for, students for student athletes across the state. With higher participation numbers than ever, athletes competed across all three seasons, showing dedication and commitment to representing Manchester Valley with consistently changing rules and expectations. Athletes, you accepted the challenge and rose to the occasion, and we are proud of every single one of you. We would like to celebrate the following accomplishments. Jackson Klingenberg was a four-sport athlete this year. Jackson Boothby, Bryce Gerber were honored as our outstanding athletes. Heath Hernandez and Grant Warner brought home Carroll County Championships in wrestling. We would also like to honor our senior all-county selections for the first and second teams across fall and winter sports. Chad Petrick, boys soccer. Maddie Allen and Delaney Devers, girls soccer. Bryce Gerber, field hockey. Jackson Boothby, Alex Cook, and Jaquan Dukes, football. Logan Austin, golf. Heath Hernandez and Grant Warner, wrestling. Zach Bowen and Jaquan Dukes, boys basketball, and Kendall Reitz, girls basketball. A special congratulation to all the spring athletes that will be recognized in upcoming weeks. Manchester Valley would also like to congratulate the 16th student athletes that we have continuing their athletic careers in college, and we wish you the best of luck.
Class of 2021, you have made us proud. You have persevered through a global pandemic to reach your goal of being with us here today to celebrate this milestone. Well done. We wish you all the best, and if you can make it through this, you can do anything. Thank you for leaving such a positive mark on Manchester Valley. While we have recognized several distinguished guests, important attendees, and class accomplishments, we have not yet acknowledged the most important supporters of our graduates. Would the parents and guardians of our graduates please stand to be recognized? Thank you, we could not have done it without your support. The Manchester Valley Honors Vocal Ensemble Seniors will now perform Found tonight under the direction of Ms. Lauren Warner. This will be followed by an address from our Class of 2021 President, Mr. Jackson Klingenberg. they 
Class of 2021, when we walked into Manchester Valley High School for the first time as freshmen, no one could have guessed what the future held for our class, how we would have one of the most individually unique high school experiences ever. That being said, we, the class of 2021, made it work. Many of us, with community support, took advantage of the virtual world to learn a lot about our strengths and weaknesses. We were able to understand whether or not online learning was plausible for each of us. As some of us thrived online and saw the great advantage of working around a more flexible schedule, others found being in person really benefited their ability to learn and stay focused. Although we enjoyed a brief moment of excitement, believing we had a real spring break, it was not long before the crushing reality hit us. It was certainly an adjustment. The spring of our junior year, we were locked in our homes with no escape to be with friends and missing the social interaction which inherently comes with a school day. We lost out on sports seasons, the spring musical, junior prom, and so much more. All of a sudden, seeing your friends was a luxury no longer afforded to us. Despite this, we finished the school year and prepared to move on to our senior year not knowing if we would ever step foot on Manchester Valley's campus again. However, as the pandemic continued and we saw no sight of a normal senior year, we moved forward and today we are almost back to where we were pre-quarantine. Except we aren't. Every single one of us changed in one way or another. Personally, I found faith and there is nothing I would trade for the lessons I learned during quarantine. If given the option to restart from that fateful day in March with no quarantine, I would say no 100 out of 100 times. If you would have told me when I walked into school as a freshman, I would end up attending Liberty University, I would have told you you were crazy. But a lot can change in a matter of four years. Whether you realize it or not, we have all grown as people, and we have grown stronger and wiser, gaining new experiences as we start at the beginning of our adult life. Perspective is a very interesting concept. As the way you look at the world determines so much about your life, are you a glass half full or half empty kind of person? Overcoming a narrow point of view is a struggle for most of us. However, as we grow in life, remember it is necessary to be open to all perspectives. It will help us be better people. Finding a new perspective opened me to an entirely different worldview. I did not know what mattered most to me in life. I just went with wherever the expectations took me. It took a whole quarantine, but I found that faith, family, and future are the three most important things in my life. So my advice to you classmates is to go into this world, not just with open arms, but with open eyes. Overall, quarantine will be the defining factor of our high school career. And while quarantine is our story, the ending is up to you. It is now my pleasure to introduce SGA President Ms. Lillian Malone to share her remarks.
parents and staff, as we gather here today in the Cow Palace at the Agriculture Center, <laughs> we are experiencing something entirely new. For many of you, this is not your first rodeo. Many parents here today have helped our older siblings pin their caps, and most of the staff have sat through at least one of these over the course of their careers. But whether you've done this before or this is your first rodeo, this day is truly one to remember. Today, the class of 2021 stands together for one last time before we begin on the road that lies ahead. Parents, through it all, you've stood behind us, offering encouragement as we navigated the waters of childhood, restraining yourselves as we rioted in our preteen years, and counting down to today, the first real testament to the hard work you've put in to even get us here. You are our greatest supporters, who put together a donut breakfast at Cape Horn Park, who planned a prom for us to enjoy just one last piece of our senior year. But even before the pandemic, you've been packing our lunches, rallying in the stands, and buying us project supplies from Walmart at 10 p.m. the night before said project was due. As infuriating as we may be at times, there is no way we could have survived this school year or any school year without your emotional and financial support. Parents, there are not enough words to communicate our gratitude and appreciation for your commitment to our education and the bettering of ourselves. It became your job when we were born to try your best to raise strong, charismatic individuals. And while it may, may have felt like you were struggling to do it right, you can rest knowing you've raised the next generation of leaders, wherever our paths may take us. And we cannot forget the people who spent the majority of the last four years paving the way for us. It is our teachers, our administration, and our counselors who have been there to guide and shape us while we were under their supervision. We appreciate our teachers and counselors for the guidance and safe spaces they have provided. While my parents have been ever present, I cannot say I would be up here speaking to you today without the unconditional support of my mentors at Manchester Valley High School. Mrs. Rooney, while only knowing me briefly, has trusted me to represent an organization that impacts every one of our students. She took on a large responsibility this year, and while we faced many challenges, we still stand as one. My mentors, Mrs. Vinson, Mrs. Kane, Mrs. Azat, Mr. Findyson, and Mr. Buscelli have pushed me, but I am always reminded they are there if I fall. I am sure every senior that walks across this stage today can think of multiple educators in our building that have changed their lives in some way, big or small. I also must take a moment to thank our custodial and lunchroom staff. Our custodians have spent countless hours keeping our school clean and safe for us to return to, even before we knew what COVID-19 was. And as a devoted theater student, they have put up with a lot of requests from us these past four years and every year before us. <laughs> our lunchroom staff have not only kept us fed, but do it with a smile on their face. Thank you to all of our school staff. It is with your guidance that we are here today. Our path so far has had many twists and turns, but no matter where that path may lead, we will always stand as one. It is with your guidance that we, the graduating class, can continue on the next chapter of our lives. Thank you. Go class of 2021! <laughs> We are honored this morning to have Mrs. Tina Thoman as our commencement speaker. Ms. Thoman, well, was Carroll County Public Schools 2018 Teacher of the Year and has been a faculty member of Manchester Valley High School for the last 12 years since our door opened in 2009. She has developed positive relationships with the members of, of the class and have earned our respect and trust as a teacher and mentor. It is my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Tina Thoman. And everyone and congratulations to the class of 2021 just to be together again in one big room means the world to all of us 
to see your faces, to look in your eyes, and not at skittled colored dots on a screen today is a gift. Needless to say, this past year was not quite how you or any of us imagined it. For starters, Lysol disappeared off shelves for months, and now the world is low on ketchup packets. My goodness, how much can one person take? So many canceled celebrations, from holiday dinners to weddings, homecoming, and a traditional prom. Last summer, after another canceled concert, Dave Grohl of the Foo Fighters wrote a piece in The Atlantic about how much he missed performing and how much his fans, which included me, missed being at a live show. It wasn't all the fanfare, like the laser lights at a concert that I missed, or maybe even the old bay at a senior crab fe feast that you missed. Like he said, we simply missed the people, people who need to connect with one another. Despite all the experiences we missed during this very complicated year, we somehow adapted with creativity, patience, and grace. The same traits that I hope you keep alive in any year, no matter how crazy or normal we may call it. We often focus on what we miss, but we also found so much this year. In a very complex year, many of us rediscovered the healing power of simplicity, and we created ways to connect, to find our humanity again, family game nights, more home-cooked meals, do-it-yourself projects, simple walks around the neighborhood, dancing in the kitchen, watching Pop Pop and Nona on their first family Zoom chat. That was priceless and so very precious. And our pets, they thought this year kind of rocked, you guys. Thanks to the magic of Google Classroom, some of our canine and feline friends now know a plethora of high caliber words such as juxtaposition, and in my house, almost every word of unbroken. Like Louis Zamperini in Unbroken, we stumbled and faltered and were forced to bend to insane limits, but we did not break. Adapting to online learning and elbow bumps rather than bear hugs wasn't easy, though. Feelings of isolation, cabin fever, and inadequacies plagued even the strongest of us. I, for example, felt like an epic failure for never creating a Bitmoji. But my students, all of you, showed me patience and grace. You forgave me and many of your teachers for every, uh, let me click on this, or wait, did I hit the record button? And can you see my screen? You may, you may have felt those same uncertainties, that feeling of, am I doing enough? And then feeling guilty for not wanting to do anything when two weeks of quarantine turned into 14 months. And during those long months, the world kept spinning and just spiraling with tensions that divided rather than united at a time when we needed each other more than ever. At a time when, as Maya Angelou wrote in one of my favorite poems, that on the pulse of a new day, that we would have the grace to look up and out and into our sister's eyes and into our brother's face, our country, and say simply, just very simply, with hope, good morning. Not every day was great at all this year, but somehow we adapted. We made it work. We made it work even when we were apart. With creativity, patience, and grace, we refused to become victims. Families repurposed their garages to make office spaces for their kids. Students missing their teammates created wiffle ball leagues that are now legendary in the North Carroll Farms community. You know who you are. I walked by a bazillion times. With innovation and pure heart, 
parents created traditions for homecoming, proms, and parades. Many days this past year, when I went up to Miller's or Wise or Walmart, I saw my students checking out my groceries, taking care of my family. You were on the front lines of this pandemic long before a vaccine ever reached any of our arms. You didn't just do the best you could through all this, you made it work with innovation, creativity, and good old fashioned grit. We showed patience and grace for each other, traits desperately needed for any day, any year. In that same article about the need for people to connect, Dave Grohl of the Foo Fighters wrote that together, concert goers are instruments in a sonic cathedral, one that we build together night after night, and one that we will surely build again. I'd like to think that with patience and grace, we'll rebuild with a renewed sense of faith in each other. Like Manchester Valley's very own poet laureate and songwriter, Chase Cox once said, your life is a song. You guys, this past year was just the first verse. Keep rocking it, keep dancing in the kitchen when you can't get to a live show, and keep holding on to each other, even when you're apart. Thank, I thank all of you for your patience and grace this morning and for every tomorrow yet to come. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Thoman. It is with great pride that I address the class of 2021. It has been a pleasure to get to know you over the last two years. And despite all that has happened this year, you are all here together, surrounded by family and friends, likely in the same space for the last time. Enjoy this moment. As you're well aware, this year didn't begin or in some ways end for you like it should have. As difficult and disappointing as this period in time may have been, I know that this experience will not be what you are remembered for. The class of 2021 will be remembered for the tremendous character, resolve, grit, and support of each other that you demonstrated through the adversity that you faced during a large portion of your high school career, and especially this, your senior year. These attributes will serve you well. As you've already heard, there are many trusted adults in your life that have had a positive impact on you over the last 13 years. In addition to your parents and guardians, you have undoubtedly had help from grandparents, aunts, uncles, older siblings, and family friends along the way. Also, you've had dozens of teachers, counselors, advisors, assistants, administrators, and other school staff who have helped you along your journey to today. Some of the ones that you will remember the best may be sitting on either side of you right now, and others are scattered around the arena today. Please take the time to thank them for the difference they've made in your life and their role in helping you to arrive at this day. Over the last few days, many of you have received awards, scholarships, and recognition for your achievements in the classroom, on the playing field or court, on stage, and in the community. Several others are quietly leaving us having gained admittance to the college or university of your choice or with a career in technology certification that has set you on a path to a great career. Some of you will serve our country in a branch of the military and others will immediately enter the workforce. Regardless of your career path, the foundation you have built here with us will provide you with the opportunity to be very successful. On behalf of the staff at Manchester Valley, I thank you for your contributions to our school and community and we look forward to hearing of your future successes in the years to come. It has been a privilege to work with such a great group of young men and women, and it has been an honor to serve as your principal. I wish you all good health, happiness, and prosperity as you take the next step in your lives. Congratulations and thank you, class of 2021. Our next speaker is a CCPS graduate himself. He works tirelessly to support the efforts of our students and our school system, often working behind the scenes to develop policies and initiatives that allow our school system and students to be successful. 
It is my pleasure to welcome our superintendent of schools, Dr. Stephen Lockard, for some remarks and for the presentation of the class. Thank you, Mr. Guerra. Good morning, everyone. Congratulations, graduates. I'd like to take the next 35 minutes or so to discuss <laughs> the impacts of a global pandemic on a local superintendent. I'm kidding, of course. It would take much longer than 35 minutes. In all seriousness, um, I will be brief, but I do appreciate and want to make sure um, that, uh, that I share with you the, the same sentiments and the comments you heard from the student speakers this morning, Jackson and Lillian, as well as uh, staff speakers, Ms. Thoman and Mr. Guerra. Um, there is an incredible amount to be proud of, particularly in this year. And so, in promising to be brief, I will do just that. Graduates, we are all incredibly proud of you and I'm proud of your accomplishments. I am honored to be a part of this special day. I have but one important announcement to make, and I will make it now, but I need you to first please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pleasure and pride that as superintendent of schools, I officially present the graduating class of 2021 of Manchester Valley High School for the awarding of diplomas. The members of the Board of Education of Carroll County, Principal Guerra, and I certify that all the graduates have successfully completed all the necessary requirements for a Maryland High School Diploma or Certificate. I congratulate each of you. Let's give them a big round of applause. Congratulate, congratulations, graduates. And at this time, I would ask you to be seated so we can begin awarding the diplomas. Thank you, Dr. Lockard. Students and families have been waiting for 13 years to hear their name called and to watch them cross the stage to receive their diploma. Each student deserves their moment and for their name to be heard. Therefore, the graduates respectfully request the audience to respond in an appropriate and dignified manner. I will first present our student leaders who will call the class roll this morning with their diplomas. Graduates, please come forward. Jackson Michael Klingenberg. Margaret Eleanor Frazier. Lillian Claire Malone. Sydney Michelle Miller. John Alexander Allen. Carl Nicholas Kafuri. Bella Marie Oxen. Katarina Marie Polishek. Carlos Isam Abdel Sayer. Colin Matthew Adams. Connor Anthony Adams. Isabella Ray Alder. Madison Nicole 
Allen. Austin Ryan Anderson. Lexi Noel Armstrong. Antonio Thomas Arroyo. Logan Robert Austin. Dalen Joshua Alvinen. Marguerite Mabel Azam. Kaylin Ashley Marie Bain. Courtney Leanne Baker. Robert Anthony Baldoni. Mackenzie Taylor Barnes. Michael Thomas Barth. Cameron James Beck. Alexa Rose Bell. Amy Nicole Bell. Tyler Timothy Biden. Erica Lane Bitzel. Haley Madison Boggs. Skyla Mackenzie Constantine Bollinger. Jackson Turner Boothby. Samantha Marie Bobst. Brett Douglas Boring. Zachary David Bowen. Terrell Douglas Bowman. Kyle Joseph Brady. Abby Lynn Breeden. Daniel Anthony Brethauer. Blake Edward Brooks. Brandon Michael Brooks. Aurora Lillian Brownlee. Nathan Sean Bunger. Miranda Elizabeth Bookman. Carly Larray Birch. Taylor Jade Burris. Jenna Noel Burden.
Tristan Sue Ann Buzzard. Grace Laurel Butiglieri. Evan James Cabral. Emmanuel Joseph Calaroa. Cage Edward Kalp. Abram Roche Castanzo. Logan Cole Cavanaugh. Savannah Lynn Cavanis. William Matthew Salito. Donovan Doyle Cheney. Sarah Blauhut Chesley. Samantha Brooke Chisholm. Elizabeth Brianne Cobb. Jason Michael Colachapo. Alexander Frederick Cook. Dylan Hunter Sofel. Chase Elijah Randall Cox. Jessica Lee Kramer. Aiden Garrett Kreger. Diana Lee Crochunis. Eve Lily Kraus. Connor Joseph Diagati. Skylar Madison Davis. Sarah Rose Day. Sophie Claire Deaver. Luke Alexander Detota. Delaney Brooke Devers. Lucas Matthew Dillon. Tyler Blake DiLorenzo. Salvatore Eugenio DiMarco. Colleen Mary McRae Dinney. Angelo Jack DiPietro. Jamal Cameron Dow. Sarah Lynn Dubsky. Daquan Zephaniah Dukes. Aiden Scott Eckroat.
Gabriel Jackson Eichler. Jordan Anthony Evans. Sean Harrison Favorite. Brianna Elizabeth Feliciano. Samantha Michelle Flora. Sarah Marie Forrester. Jalen Alexander Fontaine. William Kelly Thor Jr. Abby Elizabeth Franklin. Kelly Alfonso Freeland. Adeline Page French. Connor Jordan Fritz. Aiden Shane Frock. Summer Lee Fulton. Fernanda Galan Rodriguez. Austin Joy Gary. Michael Franklin Guyman Jr. Taylor Ann Genfin. <laughs> Bryce Tara Gerber. Austin Guy Gerling. Josie Lynn Gift. Madison Taylor Gleefman. Ayana Jordan Goldring. Ronel Jerome Goss. Jasmine Lucinda Googe. Okay, sorry. Hannah Joy Green. Margaret Jean Greenwell. Christian Allen Greer. Sarah Marie Grill. Dominic Charles Gruss. Benjamin Thomas Guest. Brandon Michael Gutnick. Ellie Yeely Hale, Caitlin Ann Marie Ham, Austin Tyler Hurd. Savannah Marie Hyde. Yeah. 
Rene Laferre Herbst. Benjamin Hernandez Canales. Keith Rudolph Hernandez. Adam Cooper Hickey. Josephina Wonging Hicks. Alexis Lynn Marie Hoffman. Marissa May Honecker. Catherine Jane Hoops. Autumn Elaine Hughes. Giovanni Joseph Anthony in Berguilio. Carly Alexandra Jarkowitz. Faye Isabel Jones. Michael Nathan Kelly. Jalen Sophia Kelsey. Christian Michael King. Paris Elizabeth Kingen. Jason Charles Kirby. Mallory Elizabeth Kaiser. Eric Matthew Klein. Manaya Janae Knight Davis. Ava Ray Nodler. Caroline Margaret Crouch. Morgan McKenna Crestline. Emily Nicole Kersmiller. Grant Andrew Lebo. Trent Marshall Longus. Shane Thomas Lowe. Aiden Thomas Luddy. Jacob Matthew McGregor. Nicholas John Mako. Claire Fiona Marvel. Emma Renee Mason. Grace Rooney Mata. Bristol Lynn Matthews. Wesley Michael Motter. Madison Faith Maxwell.
Keegan Christopher Mayo. Brianna Josephine McFadder. Hunter Brady McQuaid. Joshua Robert Manili. Cody Stephen Myers. Jenna Marie Miller. Glenn David Mon. Nico Miller. Tyler Ray Miller. Haley Rose Montour. Madison Renee Mules. Cody Allen Muller. Owen Christopher Murphy. Colby James Myers. Mary Louisa Neuizel. Benjamin Matthew Newborn. Serena Taylor Newton. Matthew Nicholas Nipper. Joshua Kyle Norris. Emily Pearl Olson. <laughs> Sophia Nicole Panagakis. <laughs> Deborah Anita Panowitz. <laughs> Caroline Elizabeth Pascal. Courtney Nicole Patterson. Jacob Edward Paulson. Chad Brant Petrick. Joseph Lewis Poor. Gerardo Isaac Prado. John Mark Price. Yasmin Kiros.
Amanda Nicole Ramsberg. Emma Elizabeth Reed. Mason Thomas Reed. Tyler Micah Reed. Kendall Paniota Reed. Shane Michael Ryder. Robert Charles Riegert. Holly Taylor Rill. Kip Felix Rill. Braxton German Rivero. Hunter Aaron Robbins. Bradley Ryan Rodsky. Sydney Anna Russell. Hunter Jackson Schmall. Jacob Andrew Schwartz. Mackenzie Nicole Seifert. Caleb Hunter Sanger. Scott Edward Seraphim. Cameron Marie Schauber. John Anthony Shido. Nicole Ann Schusterman. Ian Asher Siegler. Kayla Marie Simpson. Rachel Marie Singer. Jacob Wayne Single. Alyssa Corinne Smith. Amanda Marie Smith. Margaret May Smith. Megan Jean Smith. Thomas Gregory Smith. Logan Stephen Snyder. Joseph Amadeus Spector. (laughs) 
John Kelly Spence. Jared Tyler Spurzel. Ethan Ridgely Stafford. Blake Anthony Stefanik. Zachary Paul Stranathan. Benjamin David Swam. Haley Ann Swisher. Gabriel Carl Sobolski. Lorena Stewart Tapp. Cody Edward Taylor. Jacob Lee Taylor. Aiden Michael Thompson. Gabriella Alondra Grace Trainer. Madeline Ann Troutman. Robert Jonathan Useller. Dakota Marie Van Cleve. Carly Lynette Victor. Michelle Ione Victor. Zachary Sebastian Wade. Faith Noel Wagner. Shaylin Marie Wagner. Grace McKinnon Warner. Grant Matthew Warner. Brandon Moore Warren. Rebecca Noel Watson. Mason Alexander Weston. Michaela May White. Kiana Nicole Whitney. Cameron Reese Weedle. Haley Lane Williams. Atlas Ray Willison. Haley Eileen Wilson. Amelia Zhang Shao Wisniewski. Kendall Elise Wisniewski. Solomon Atakalt Wildeselassi.
Joshua Nicholas Wolf. Bryson Frederick Woodland. Braden Patrick Yeager. Anastasia Lynn Yeager. Andrew James York, Jr. Faith Zapata. Logan Jesse Ziegenfuss. Hannah Ruth Zimmerman. I ask that the audience please remain seated for the recessional until the final graduate has exited. Following the presentation of the graduation packets, the graduates will be available to meet you in the parking lot. Please exit the property as quickly as possible so that the next graduation can assemble and begin their festivities. The Manchester Valley campus is open for families to take pictures outside should you wish to do so. Jackson Klingenberg, your class president, will now lead your class in the changing of the tassels, signifying your new status as graduates of Manchester Valley High School. Would the class of 2021 please rise? I present to you the graduates of the Manchester Valley High School class of 2021.